All right, hello YouTube. So I got a lot of comments on the CTC 3D printer review and unboxing. And I got a lot of questions, which uh, it's going to take some time to answer them all. <laughs> uh, but I figured I'd answer one today, and I figured I'd do a little brief overview. I've owned my CTC 3D printer for about two weeks now, and I've printed pretty much everything. These are my first prints with the yellow that came with it. I'm setting everything up. That's a crossbow. Failed twice already. I got another one of them down here. I actually ordered the mod kit from criticalmods.com. Uh, it's the three outside windows, the two side, the front with a door and uh, comes with a hood so hoping to be able to control the temperature a little better it's my Capton tape alright so if I come back over here the whole reason I'm going to do this video is somebody asked about the electronics now this is a replicator clone uh, the replicator dual so I got dual extrusion which has been a pain in the butt to get working let's see if I can flip this thing over let everything run back push this down okay Come on. all right So you see that you got one screw right off the side. I don't know if you can see it there in a the little tab, and then this just kind of pulls on these tabs. Let me show you down here. See what we got here. All right, so somebody asked if there was an extra spot to put a fan, and actually, if you look up top here, let me see if I can get it to focus. No. Anyway, this N1 is made for a fan to run, so you can run PLA. And then there's an accessory. So you can add something else, which I'm gonna be adding today. I got 24 volt uh, LEDs. And uh, it's pretty much a, a Muddy Board clone from what I understand. It doesn't really have a name on it, but at least you get to see. And then you got your power supply, which I really like, no brick.
It's also got uh, RG, uh, yeah, RGB LED, 24 volt, um, which it's not focusing, so. Stupid iPhone. But it would be right here. In front of my finger, there's all your connections to be soldered on. I'm actually just going to use the 24 volt accessory. Alright, well, I hope it helps somebody out. Uh, once I get my LEDs hooked up, uh, I'll probably do a video of that. Uh, we'll see, like when I turn on the machine, or uh, will they turn off and on when it heats up? I don't know yet, so um, we'll find out.